five, four, three, two, one. We are back. And with the dog again. Hey! Yeah. Shut up! Get the fuck on the couch! No, hey, don't scream on the head. Yeah, see? Get the fuck on the couch. Come on, you goofy dog. Come here! Whiny little... Sit. Whiny little bitch. Sit. God damn it. Here you go. Fucker. Eat the stick. Okay. Fuck, I hate dealing with whiny bitches. But, uh... Um, if you're listening to us on SoundCloud, you can watch us on YouTube. If you're watching us on YouTube, you can listen to us on SoundCloud. Fucking bastard trying to eat my paper, huh? You trying to eat my paper? Yeah, get out of here, dog. Get out! 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 <laughs> out! No, don't fuck up the camera. Uh oh, we gotta get rid of this dog now. Holy shit. What a bitch. She can't even sit on the couch and watch. She's gotta be a shit disturber. What a fucking shit disturber. No, no it's okay. She gonna have a time out for a second. Yeah, yeah, give her her stick so she can be quiet. So we got peace and quiet, you know? And we're good. Alright. Whose idea was it to get a dog again? <laughs> The guy who just died on your thing. It's okay, we have to deal with things. Yeah. Okay, I better have her not on my feet. No? Uh, Why not? You don't want her to eat your toes? Uh, no. Okay, keep going. Hello, everybody. Welcome to the new show on uh, YouTube. 1115, 55111. I mean, 511 or 115. Ladies and gentlemen, 11 plus 5 uh, equal uh, 111, 16. 15. Uh, yeah. <laughs> 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 That's auction. Auction, it's named today 115. Today is September. What? 21. No. No, it's 18, but we planned this. <laughs> You're so stupid. What do you mean? Oh, what? Why? What is it? Friday or is it Wednesday today? Today's Wednesday. <laughs> Today's Wednesday. People watch this on Friday. That's how it goes. And we tell them it's Wednesday. Yeah. And they say, what the fuck? Fuck, it's Friday. I was thinking it's Friday. And I'm we back go, to Wednesday. We go, no. Today, for us, Wednesday. You know what is today? What? Cheeseburger day. I know. I have it written down. Oh, okay, you got it? Okay. Yeah. Today is cheeseburger day. Wherever you're going, Na you can have cheeseburger Nash a little bit cheaper. National cheeseburger, cheeseburger day. day. What is your favorite cheeseburger? Cheeseburger. But, like, from where? From Burger King. Burger King. No! Big Mac, that's cheeseburger? No. What is that? Cheeseburger is a burger with cheese. Yeah, but Big Mac have cheese. They always say, yeah, but it's not a cheeseburger. Oh, but they have burger and the cheese is not burger. No, cheese? like if you go to McDonald's yes. and you say, "Can I get a cheeseburger?" Yeah, it's cheese. You're not gonna get a Big Mac. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, but basically, is Big Mac just smaller? No. What is the definition cheeseburger? As Siri, what is a cheeseburger? This is why we have electronics. Yeah. Hey, Suri, what is cheeseburger? A cheeseburger is a hamburger topped with cheese. Traditionally, the slice of cheese is placed on top of the meat patty, but the burger can include variations in structure, ingredients, and composition. Should I keep going? Keep going? Sorry, I'm still not sure about that. Going. Sorry, I'm still not sure about that. Keep going. Yes. <laughs> the cheese is usually added to the cooking hamburger patty shortly before serving, which allows the cheese to melt. As with other hamburgers, a cheeseburger may include toppings, such as lettuce, tomato, onion, pickles, bacon, mayonnaise, ketchup, mustard, or other toppings. <laughs> she was going to keep going. <laughs> <laughs> that's that mean, and after you have had it, the tag and goodbye, Charlie. Yeah, because you can have a double cheeseburger, you can have a triple cheeseburger. Triple? You can have a single cheeseburger. Can I have a triple, triple? Yeah, what, triple what would be party. Triple, triple. Yeah. And we have a we have a chimpanzee in the kitchen. Yeah. Come bubbles. 
Why you can't put her in the bedroom and close the door? Oh, you cr- you, you don't, don't know. understand. You are crazy. No, you know what crazy. she gonna do in the bedroom for you're... no going out? She gonna destroy everything. What she gonna cage in bedroom, closed door, so you don't hear her. No, you're gonna hear her. You put her in the one room where there's no fucking door. But this cage no going through this door. The cage is too big. What are you retarded? Yeah, this door. <laughs> yeah, but the other door no. Yeah, that door no cage coming. Come, have to be put on the part and go. So, okay, I'm gonna put you in the next room and close the door. You can have a program on my bed. Yeah. Okay, you said too much freaking concentrate on this bullshit. No, because let how, it go. How many weeks? Oh, that's gonna be. Where I think you so, don't listen. Le- listen, I think so. You can't make the situation better. You just fucking make it the same bullshit. No, over because and over you. Again. Non- but you know changing too. You just let it go. She's gonna mm-hmm. fall asleep. Give her five minutes, she's gonna go sleep. No, you're like, it's like uh, what Albert Einstein says about s- insane people. They try to do the same thing over and over again, expecting different results, which never happens. <laughs> That's you. That's you. That's no. literally you right no, now. No, because you non-stop saying the same shit. Can no, I'm not. In See, room? you're not even listening. I'm talking about actions. You're putting her in the cage, in the same room, at the same time, every day. <sighs> Why are you drinking a straight? Why are you drinking the whiskey? I need straight? the straight. We're talking to you. <laughs> yeah, but we already. See. Anyway, shut up. Next topic. Not next topic. You didn't give me an answer. With I gave you. I just fucking sorry. Just to read you all ingredients. Yeah. And what's your choice for best cheeseburger? Cheeseburger. You're saying Big Mac was a cheeseburger when it's not. Yeah, so I'm I don't asking know. What brand cheeseburger do you like? It usually was Big Mac from McDonald's. Yeah, but that's not cheeseburger. Oh, shut the fuck up. Half cheese? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Half burger? Yeah. yeah, it's cheeseburger. No, it's not. It's That's what I'm saying. If I never eat cheeseburgers. That's like me going to buy an SUV and saying it's a car. It's got it four is, wheels, yeah, like it, a car. It is car. It's got seats, it like is, a car. It is car. It's got a windshield, like a car. It's not a car, it's an SUV. It's two completely different things. No, the car is... That's like a burger, cheeseburger, and a Big Mac. They're two different things. Anyway, no burger for me. Whopper and uh, Big Mac, my favorite. Yeah, the two, like, shittiest burgers on planet Earth. Well, I don't care. I love it the best. I'm thinking it's the best. And the Five best. Guys is the best. For cheeseburgers. Uh, I eat over there with you. Hmm, not really. You don't even know what you had over there. Yeah, we have cheeseburgers. What? When? We were going to Five Guys. You bought it. <laughs> Did and I? they give us peanuts. Because, you know, yeah. that's Five Guys. Yeah, mm-hmm. you see? But I was not... Uh, I think so the best burgers, more better than Whopper and everything, is the smoking in Outlet Mall. What do you call this? The Big Smokes Burger? Yeah, that's one. They was juicy and awesome. You eat different one, but I eat the smoky. They name smoky, juicy, burger. pussy. <laughs> In a burger. sandwich. Burger. Big juicy pussy sandwich. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, Wall Burgers is said, really good. Wall Burgers is really good. And yeah, we 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 eat over there. Yeah. yeah. Uh I think so. Over, over, over. I tell you right now. This fucking smoking shit, the best. Then is uh, Wall Burgers. Okay. And then is Whopper. Okay. Then is your fucking Five Guys. Mm-hmm. And then is Big Burrito for fucking. Uh, well, that's not a cheeseburger. <laughs> that's what I'm that's saying. A burrito. Everything <laughs> else behind Burrito. Yeah. Fuck it. Oh, interesting. Yeah, but that's today's National uh, Fat People Day. They have excuse, go be more fat. Yeah, go get cheeseburgers. Yeah, yeah, it's going today. You can't be... You can't well, be... Well, fuck, I want to start my diet today, but today is cheeseburger day. I might as well get a couple of 20 cheeseburgers. Yes. And I'm going <laughs> to start next Monday. Yeah. Or I'll Wednesday go... or Friday. Yeah, I don't even know tomorrow, what day is today. Tomorrow I go keto. I say, give me cheeseburger, no bun. Okay, that's it. Yeah. Fuck. What's another... This Shake Shack was really good when I tried that. What is that? It's a restaurant. Shake Shack? Yeah, Shake Shack. Yeah, but like the shack is shaking? Yeah, the shack shakes 
and when you order the burger. Oh, in the burger is yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I see what Shake Shack is. Very big. Hey. Oh, Jesus. She has to be on over there. Hey, Suri. What is Shake Shack? Shake Shack is an American fast casual restaurant chain based in New York City. Would you like to hear more? Yes. It started out as a hot dog cart inside Madison Square Park in 2001, and its popularity steadily grew. In 2004, it moved to a stand within the park, expanding its menu from New York style hot dogs to one with hamburgers, hot dogs, fries, and its namesake milkshakes. Oh, that's it. So you know what? To be honest, I remember going to Shake Shack, and I don't even remember seeing any hot dogs on the menu. But they start from hot dogs, and yeah, but that's just... weird. Like, so th the guy was selling hot dogs at a S Madison Square Garden. Yeah, on the corner. Somewhere. Well, it's like a big cart. It's yeah. a square. Bicycle it's a shit. square. You have the arena. Yeah, yeah. But... And then you have like the. It's like a big square with tables and people playing chess, whatever. And he had a cart. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Selling yeah, hot dogs. Yeah, yeah, you know how much they sell hot dogs for on the streets in New York? Ten bucks. It's, it's fucked. Yeah, it's like ten dollars. I'm guessing Toronto is the same thing. Yeah, but this is American money. Ten dollars. Yeah, but over for, there. Yeah. For not a foot long. Like what you buy from the fucking grocery store. Little fucking like three inch. Oh, the guy have to bullshit. make money, yeah. Make he probably money. Have, he have to probably pay fucking thousand dollars. Probably this motherfucker doesn't have to CD pay. See where he's standing. Probably doesn't even have to pay a permit to park anywhere. No, everybody have to pay a permit. No way. Toronto. No, every the card... each one card have to have a permit. Business license cost me safety two, department two hundred and twenty seven dollars for Listen, a business license. And then and they have to have a hell fucking uh, no, they slip. Don't. Yeah, they coming and what do you think? You fucking you can't have salmonella. They come in and swap always this thing. Every each one. I've you been have to working clean. in restaurants for eight years. Yes. I'm telling you right now, no one swaps nothing. That's not how health department works. How the health department works? They come and they look and they're like, is there shit on anything? The guy goes, no. Yeah, which means mouse shit or something. And then they're like, okay. Yeah, that's not the, like working in New York City. Is there rats everywhere? Yes. They say yes. Where? And then they go, okay, you're good. We're closing the shop. No, you can't because there's so many rats there. No, no, they're closing the shop. That they, it's, it's going to be fucking part of your dish when you get the cheeseburger. There's going to be cheese on the rat in your burger. No, because I saw on the inside edition how there was problem with rats. Since they see the rat, they have to clean up everything and they give a red. No, you... they could quiet. They call the fucking exterminator. The guy have to catch the fucking rats. If he no catch the rats, they don't have a fucking green light open. In every thing. single restaurant, there is a company that gives them special boxes to kill mice and rats. I know. Because they sometimes know. They no, because much. they know that no matter what happens, every single restaurant will have rats or mice in the building. So a company comes once every couple months and cleans up the dead rats. That reminds me about rats because they're very smart creatures. You know, okay. That. And in Afghanistan, they were showing, they teach them find the mines. Okay. So the people use them. And they put cheese on the land No, mines? and then they fucking go. And if you, they see the mines, they, yeah. they, they stop. Yeah. They're, they stop the... I'm allergic to bullshit, sorry. They they digging and they yeah. learn how to fucking... And they were showing big cages. Okay. And all rats smart, they feed them. <laughs> but the best is how they show them the mine. Mm -hmm. They actually visual see it and smell it. And they, they know how they smell it. And then they going on the front. Let's do jumping. <clears throat> and if they see something, they stop. And they go away or they start digging and they say it's mine. They save a lot of lives. People smart over there. Because before it was like dogs, but dogs was like... Start digging and... Poof. And blow up. <laughs> <laughs> no, you know what makes but you... But if you, if you even rat blowing up, they have lots of them teach them. But you know what makes me laugh with like a health department shit? Oh. Like that you brought up? Like... Relatively, most restaurants are pretty clean. Some are pretty dirty, but, like, to be honest, they don't give a shit. Uh, I remember one health department guy coming. 
And he's like, this is the best. <laughs> he comes in the kitchen. Yeah. Polo shirt, oh, skinny guy. Oh. Is uh, so-and-so here? So, like every restaurant, you have to have an employee that's a representative for health and safety. So you obviously nominate some bullshit employee to be health and safety. Oh, but then he has to have some kind of knowledge about what... No, not be... knowledge. Just you, that person's like the spokesperson to talk to this fucking guy who gets paid to do nothing. So the guy who comes to do nothing, no joke, walks into the kitchen. He goes, oh, we've been getting calls from people, complaints, saying it smells uh, eggy gassy are you finding these weird smells and i'm standing there like yeah it's called there, pizza there, there's a giant gas line on the wall with all propane powered cooking equipment of course it's gonna smell like gas and last time i checked we put eggs on half of the salads so of course you're gonna smell ga- <laughs> eggs and gas yeah, because the, we cook. Yeah, but the gas you should vent up. There is a vent that sucks it up. Yes, but it I'm is. telling you, as an uneducated, stupid health department guy, walking into a restaurant saying, does it smell like gas or eggs? When you, if you're knowledgeable, you know that all the equipment is gas powered. Yeah, but why does gas pro- is inside, not outside? What are you talking about? Like uh, propane tanks and everything should be outside. They are outside, but they come through a tube into the building. Yeah. Yeah, the power, the burners, you have burners, you have flat top grills, um, you have fryers. Or maybe one day somebody knocked the flame and gas was just keep going. No, just the guy is clearly retarded. No, but like somebody complained. Yeah, that must be strong gas called, odor or something. It's called an old 60 year old man who's too stupid. I'm telling you right now, people are so lazy and stupid that they try to order grilled cheese sandwiches delivery to their house and willing to pay $20 for a grilled cheese sandwich yeah, if you have money. with french fries to deliver it to their house. They're so fucking dumb, they can't even make a grilled cheese sandwich in their house. I know, but... Did not the point. He have the money. He wants the grist. What do you mean? The easiest way to do it. I know. He no want to do it. Literally. I want to no, eat. I no want to do nothing. Literally, easiest way to do it. Put two pieces of bread in the fucking toaster. I do not have a toaster. Toast it. Okay. I then it. put it on a plate. Put some cheese, like a sandwich. Microwave it for a minute. Let it melt. Grilled cheese sandwich. I know. but Done. Then, I know, but the guy have money. He don't care. I want sandwich. Grill sandwich. But I'm saying I know I these know. are cheap fucks. No, it's just people with the money have million millions of dollars in the bank. He don't give a fuck how much you have to pay. He just wanna eat. And he said, just bring me. Make sure it's grilled. <laughs> yeah, like it's <laughs> Yeah, I know I'm stupid, but I wanna eat. Ah, thank you, bye. That's like you with your energy drinks. You just you just drink, and you know you're gonna sleep after that. And you like wh- how many drinks you have to drink? You find out your opposite working every time you drink. What are you talking about? They help me a lot. No, you drinking? Yeah. Then I call you. What? Yeah, because you call me at like eight, no eight p.m. I ju- no, I just when call and you say I just for three hours <laughs> and been stuck in traffic for four hours. <laughs> Yeah. No. Yeah. This was like I yeah. just bought an energy drink. And you know you should fucking know it doesn't work. You should switch to something else. We find out with Tia Red Bull is only working on us. Yeah, but I can't have sugar. You're... You have Red Bull sugar free. I know. The light color. Yeah. Will buy this one. No. And Red Bull was invented. Then everybody I copied drink Rockstar because there's no sugar and it has caffeine in it. So it helps a lot. Do you see me drink Monsters anymore? Yeah. You I switched. To Rockstar? I always do Rockstar. I don't even drink Monster anymore. I don't think Rockstar was working on me. Only Red Bull. Fucking really. Really. Yeah? yeah really? Yeah. Really. But the, like even I bought this Red Bulls where I have just 
the gold case. Okay. And then after like three, stop working on me. Like I'm taking my body used to this shit and not working anymore. So mm-hmm. that's only this coughing pills with the stress pill make me like four hours awesome. Mm. You just relax. Yeah. Plus you have energy. But, but the then, thing is, I don't then, have to listen, take the caffeine but, pill because it's already in my drink. Yeah, yeah. It's but, already in there. Yeah, but that's... Instead of taking 10... Mo- your pills are what? Like 10 milligrams of caffeine I in a pill? Like very do, light? No, they say like it's three cup of coffee in one pill. It's, that th- That's not a measurement. It's... But what, how many milligrams? milligrams. Okay. And then so I... So I have that in one drink. Yeah, and then... I have 200 milligrams, and yeah. what is surprise? The 100 milligrams working better than 200 milligrams of me. Because mm-hmm. I have both, I can show you. Okay. And then, and then, and that's the pink one, and uh, wake up, the 200 milligrams doesn't work. Mm-hmm. I find out this company actually. The rooster? No, the rooster is actually doesn't work. Okay. He is going to grab the caffeine pills now. Because for some reason we're talking about caffeine. But, yeah. See, see, that's the rooster. That's this. That's this 100 milligrams, the pink one. And that company is unbelievable. I always buy them. They. Yeah, that's they, 100 milligrams. Yeah, and that is 200 milligrams. And this is, uh, yeah. So okay. that's one I eat, no feel nothing. Okay. That's one I eat. You feel it run away, the pink one, what I just give you. Well, these are two completely different formulas. You can already... This one helps prevent drowsiness. So it doesn't... And what? It doesn't mean it... Energy gonna, and everything. No, it doesn't. This is doesn't wake you up. This one literally says, wide awakes. This no, one dude. says, helps prevent drowsiness. This one says, this is going to wake you the fuck up. On it, literally says why the way helps prevent drowsiness. What, what are you reading? See, help prevent drowsiness. The wide same thing. awakes. Yeah. Okay, but maybe this doesn't say wide awake. Literally just says they say here wakes up. No, it says wake wake up. Yeah, that's, that's wake up spells. Name. No, no, that's the brand. No, name. no, no. Yeah, it is. No, because the brand name on that is this the Equa. Yeah, one. here is different. That's the brand name. That's what is... I'm saying. No, that's, that's wake those up. Those ones are meant to wake you up. These ones are just two hundred sure milligrams sleep. <laughs> no. Literally, that's the difference. Caffeine, two hundred milligrams. Take one every four hours. Caffeine, 100 milligrams. Take every four hours. But like I said, I don't know, does equal take everything where I buy from them working like supposed to? Yeah. Uh, like, uh, you know, the blue and yellow pills, what I always use from uh, this yeah. company? Yeah. Working. Everything what they, I tell you guys, this company, Equate, that's how you pronounce Equate. Equate. This one? Fuck. I eat this? Nothing. This one actually going. Wide awake, wi- wake up, wide wake up. Fucking everything is wake up. And more money for this shit and it doesn't work. This one work. Equate everything. Cold and flu. Flu. Sinuses. Everything this company freaking working. Everything. Everything. Anything. Everything else doesn't work. Everything is live. Interesting. They put the rooster and they think I'm gonna r- wake up like cuckoo doo doo. I mean, mm-hmm. it doesn't. But they actually have hundred milligram rooster and it's pink too. Yeah. But I I I, ch- I find out this freaking working very good mm. on me. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. That's cookie crumble. And fuck it. Why are we fucking? Yeah. Speaking of fucking, Demi Lovato. <laughs> oh shit! What happened now? She's blowing up the internet. I was thinking she's blowing up somebody else. Well, she is blowing someone. That is facts. But it, she, oh, she was. She's dating a guy who was on The Bachelor. Debbie Lamado, you crazy? That's not the Debbie Lamado. That's the Hajiji. No, she's dating someone else who was also on The Bachelor. Oh shit. There, there's been multiple bachelors. I know, I know, but like I was. Demi Lovato picked the chocolate man. 
Black guy from... Gigi Hadid has the normal guy. Hey, Suri. <laughs> yeah. Hey, Suri. That didn't sound right. The white guy. <laughs> who, who is dating Danny Lovato? Jimmy Lovato. <laughs> Check it out. Yeah, it's the from Bachelor. Mm -hmm. Who is Demi Lovato replied to dating from Bachelor? Some uh, Coco guy. Anyway, it's probably Coco Kun Pops. Kunta Kinte. Kunta Kinte. <laughs> Roots. <laughs> Holy shit, but uh, Demi Lovato is basically posting unedited pictures on Instagram to help uh, basically make herself feel better. What do you mean, I'm editing pictures? Basically, everyone posts pictures on Instagram. They're edited. I mean, like, uh, like it's not the real ones. Like they, like for make example, make you skinny, make you no, beautiful, no, make you tan. Yeah, like you just like cover you, this. Yeah, cover, yeah, yeah. Like yeah, yeah. say, like, like you post a picture of rain, and you change the coloring on the picture on an editing system yes, after. Yes. Yes. Because then that, that's posting a fake pic. That's not the yeah, real pic. I always put the, put the fake pic. Yeah, so... No, I always put the real <laughs> pic. So. Yeah. You know, you add an extra tongue. I don't know. You put two no. tongues. I'm too stupid to use this yeah. shit. So. <laughs> <laughs> and then it's fucking like no one allowed. And I'm like, ah, fuck it. Don't so get Demi Lovato is posting... Demi Lovato. He, she posted bikini pictures. Bikini posted. Yeah. She's fat like a three-door Shafa. No, she's not fat. It's just... Who is now fat? Demi Lovato. She lose weight? She's been skinny for a while, yeah. Oh, too much drugs. Well, yeah, that's why she overdosed. Yeah, but that was no point her overdosing. She was, like, depressed. No, she literally... The same drugs that killed Mac Miller... Little Peep. XX... Well, XX got shot to death that's different yeah but all these uh famous rappers and singers who were taking the cocaine cocaine filled with fentanyl she was one of oh, them yeah. and she was she was though. literally the only one that survived the overdose everyone else died from it you know why because she's got a nose of steel no it's uh, a women body is different than a man body men even, are pussies no no it, even with alcohol Okay. Women can drink more, and men, because she absorbs more water in the day. They teach you at school from biology. No, they don't. But yes. Okay, keep going. Yeah. Sorry. So that's probably she eats so much drugs, but her body breaks down. There's drugs like not men, because there's more water in a woman body. <laughs> Look at this. Hey, sorry. How are we gonna ask this? Hey, sorry. That. Absor absorb absorb absorption <laughs> alcohol. Okay, I found this on the web for what absurd absurd absorption. <laughs> Check it out. Can you say it? What is the difference between absorb alcohol to the human? <laughs> to the woman? Oh, woman's not human. <laughs> no, What's the difference between a woman and a human? <laughs> Who can you drink more? How are we gonna... Why is this woman dating a human man from The Bachelor? <laughs> I can't breathe. I can't breathe. Holy <sighs> shit. I have like a spasm on my throat. Why does she like this pigment of man? Okay, okay, we're gonna ask now. You have to. Formulate question. Okay, what are we gonna ask? <laughs> you have to formulate the question. Because when I talk to it, I sound like a broken robot talking to a robot. <laughs> what? Uh, but, uh, uh, uh. Listen. Re ready? No. <laughs> ask Suri that the woman body. <laughs> Take so more, stupid. take more alcohol and men. Can body. the woman's body take more juice? Than the men? Okay, I gonna shut up, shut up, shut up, <laughs> shut up, shut up, shut up. Uh, hey Suri, did woman body take more alcohol and then man body? Okay, I 
found this on the web for did the woman body take more alcohol and then men body. Check it out. <laughs> Check it out. What are we checking out? Did you find your answer? Don't know. It's coming where? I have no idea. All but... right, but yeah, Demi Lovato's posting pictures of her in a bikini on Instagram, basically showing her fear because she's got a, apparently a lot of cellulite on her legs. The chick that hasn't heard of liposuction before, and uh, basically she's been like uh, self love promoting on Instagram. She got like 5 million likes on a picture, which is like pretty high up there. Pretty crazy number for likes on a picture. And she's just talking about how she's got a bunch of cellulite on her legs. But, you know, she's a millionaire getting some nice uh, chocolate cocoa penis in her. So I don't know what she's got to complain about. And she's already survived overdosing on drugs and also had an eating disorder before that. Read, so no, here, she shouldn't here. be complaining. Read this last uh, bullet point. Okay, I'm on a website. It's called drinkaware.co.uk. Oh. I told you. The question part. here says, how does alcohol affect women differently to men? Yeah. Women tend to be smaller than men. That means the same amount of alcohol is going into a smaller body. Even if a woman is the same weight as a man, she will have a higher blood alcohol level if she drinks the same amount as a man. So this is already telling me that women easily get more fucked up than guys. Yeah, keep going. Alcohol is held in the body, in the body, in body water, not in body fats. Women generally have a higher proportion of body fat than men. Facts. This is a great article. So <laughs> yeah, we're gonna be bent. So have, you. so have less body water. Whoa. That means the alcohol is more concentrated in women. Okay, keep going. Keep going. It's possible that some alcohol is broken down in the same stomach before it reaches the bloodstream. This may happen less in women if they drink a lot of alcohol. So what's going on? So basically, what this article is telling me is that uh, women get more drunk easier than men even if they're even the same weight because they have less water no they have less fat yes they have more fat but less water yes and men have more water than fat yeah no worrying we have so a lot of at the end of the day oh okay if the if i hang out with a woman who weighs the same as me pounds? 230 pounds 300 pounds usually you're hanging with the women so, you know. You, you, you like glasses. So, I've never uh, hung out with a chick that big before. <laughs> <coughs> Actually, the biggest chick that wanted me weighed, I think, 500 pounds. I remember this. You want to hear that story? No. no. Too, much, too, too heavy. <laughs> oh, it was the best. What? She... She, she was into me. She was uh, and she looks I, like I, a mountain. I was scared, you know, because I'm like, this chick is big. So how, old, how old heavy you was? 300? No, I was like 240. No, but remember... I've never was, been 300. No, you was like 280. 280, yeah. Yeah, I remember. I've never hit 300. And then you say, oh my God, I can't breathe with my left lung. Tying my shoes, yeah. Yeah, oh, something. So, so she weighed like at least 500 pounds. Big, big chick. Big chick, that's fucking dinosaur. Yeah. Ah, Godzilla in the town. So she would like kind of talk to me at bars and like run into me in bars. And, and Grant, there was winter time. And I was what? W was it winter time? <laughs> Doesn't matter what season. No, no, but I, no matter what. I want to know season. I don't remember. I think it was winter time, and you probably was thinking, you know, chick is big. It was during baseball season because she offered me. Sky box seats. Yeah, for, she have a box seat between her legs. Or Rogers Center. Yeah, she have to a go gentle. watch Toronto Blue Jays play Texas in playoffs, in the Rogers Center. Oh. She offered me those tickets, and I said no because I'm human, and I'm not a fucking sellout. Yeah, but maybe she was actually have a good. I intention. was not interested. 
I was not. What you don't like five hundred no. pounds? Check how the box. Ever since you told me the story, how there was a news story where a woman killed her boyfriend to death by sitting on his face. Yes, he couldn't breathe. He couldn't breathe. Not doing it. Yeah, so that was a big story. So now, fast forward a couple of years now. You met her. No, again. my buddy I work with. He says she's six hundred pounds. No, right? he says I have a buddy. I'm gonna go to his house party. Oh. And he's like, and then this is his girlfriend. Oh. And then he shows me his buddy's girlfriend. And it's the same chick. Oh. And I tell him that story, and he's like, <coughs> he's oh, like, yeah, he's you. like, you're absolutely right because he said every time he hangs out with him, she buys him shit like no tomorrow, anything he oh, wants. She's rich or something. She just makes a lot of money. She has a really good career. Like what she do? Uh, paramedic. Three hundred pounds paramedic. 500 pound paramedic, yeah. She pushed the ambulance? <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry about it! We're gonna be on the time! I she, never see a paramedic 500 pounds. Well, she already has the defibrillators beside her, so just in case she has a heart attack, she oh, can just shock Jesus. herself. <laughs> and uh, probably she have a good condition, like good bone structure. Sure. Go with that. Uh, but basically, she tries to buy, instead of putting in the work and actually trying to lose weight and look good, she solves her problems by buying sex, which is... Because n- probably worked a few times, and now she go to this pattern. So... And it's going. So now she... And your friend, guy, going. Going with it, because he's like, Why not? I love the stuff. Yeah, and then I have a fucking pussy cake. And then I gotta, I I gotta don't... fuck a walrus when I get home. <laughs> Whatever. Yeah. Pussy's pussy. You ever see the walrus from Marineland? Doesn't matter. Off the lights, go inside, fucking, and go mm. to cave. Yeah, and then you're like, well, I'm still going. <laughs> uh, how do I, I can, grab I this? can breathe. What yeah. the fuck? Stop Why am mama. I still... I don't know. Jesus... <laughs> Yeah, that's what like this joke was. Remember, I told you. What the lady came to the doctor to say, "I want to check how deep is my pussy." And the, okay. And the doctor <laughs> say, "What's the problem?" He says, "Fucking, I don't feel it. Nothing over there." He said, "Okay, lay down on the table." Mm-hmm. He so she lay down on the table. Yep. She undressed her. She said, "Okay, we're gonna make few experiments. We're gonna check how your pussy is deep." Okay. So he opened the pussy, he take his one dollar coin, Okay. <laughs> throw the dollar, listen, nothing, yeah, no, yeah, it's just gone, so he have a gold Rolex, okay. he opened his Rolex, he said fuck, now I gonna probably hear it, because it's like, the bracelets and everything, diamonds, and he throw the Rolex inside, he listen. Okay. And nothing. Yeah. <sighs> Put his hand inside. To, like, fucking shoulder. Yeah. Try to reach for Rolex. It's fucking $25,000 Rolex. Yeah. I bought it on the bridge. <laughs> Say, fuck, I can't feel it. She says, so what are we going to do? So the doctor say, finally like this. Wait here. He jump in the pussy. Yeah. He going like in this, going. Finally he slide like to the big tongue. Okay. And he put his <laughs> flashlight from his cell phone. <laughs> and he walking, looking for a fucking Rolex, yeah? <laughs> and the fucking after one hour walking uh-huh. <laughs> one hour walking uh. then he sees somebody walking ahead of him mm-hmm. and he sees like two soldiers walking over there yeah say hello <laughs> and they say oh hello what's up mm-hmm. and they he said honest to god guys I don't know what you guys looking for, but fucking, I, I looking for my Rolex. Mm-hmm. Did you guys see it? No. And he, he asked, uh, uh, can I ask you what are you guys looking for? And he said, man, we two weeks here, we lost the tank. Yeah. 
<laughs> so that, what is the moral from this fucking uh, like a story? Don't lose your Rolex and that no. pussy. You never know how deep your pussy gonna be. Mm. So be careful. Like your friend. What will happen if you keep falling inside? You never find him. He probably wounding in the pussy. Well, that's that's fine. That's okay. <laughs> I've had many friends that have gone lost in pussy before. You have a lot of friends who went to the pussy? Basically, I have friends... It's like... Um, like... Have you ever had like friends where they're like, they meet pussy right <laughs> no <laughs> and they're like this is life now pussy this pussy is life now fuck everything pussy is life fuck, fuck everything else pussy is life i don't understand this people you know what i mean they, i know i know they put no effort to having like social life friends it's like just him and pussy but see, that's like a um, crack uh, addict. Since he sm- smells this crack, he can't let it go because he feels it. Well, yeah, it feel, is a crack. It feels him good. So yeah. the same pussy, the guy, some guys, he never have a pussy. He's going to feel different. Man, I have so many pussies. It's no, no bother me anymore. I'm, I'm like, and nothing. You know what is the most, the best for me? Mm-hmm. It's money. And the fucking cars. Mm. That's what excites me if I want something. If you put me nice car and that's, 10 pussies. That's also crack. No, but that's what I'm saying. 10 yeah. pussies, I'm saying, no, cars. Yeah. Somebody put money, 10 pussies, and say, $500 or 10 pussies? And I'll say, I can even take $400, no pussies. Thank you. Mm-hmm. I have enough with uh, with dripping fucking curtain beefs. Yeah. So how long have you been sucking dick for? No, it's <laughs> no, it's not dick. It's just I have so much. Mm. How I was young. Okay. Every fucking three days I have different chick in there. Every three days. Three. My mom was ask my mom. She was chasing chicks because every three days I have brand new girlfriend. Mm-hmm. And they want me like crazy. I was gorgeous. Mm-hmm. I don't know what happened now. I'm ugly like a fucking Jesus. What was the craziest girlfriend? <sighs> yeah, I have one crazy girlfriend mm-hmm. who wants sex eight times a day. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I actually have to close myself in the bathroom. Okay. And she still grab the hanging coat and try open the bathroom because she wanna suck my penis. Okay. I couldn't even shit. But why is it? Why was it eight times a day? Like because you, you she, weren't working or you didn't have school or anything. Or I like? was going to school. Okay. And she was saying she have a first time orgasm on the top of the man like never before. And she called okay. Jesus, God, whatever you said, or my name was. Yeah. That day, I was always, oh my God, my Jesus. And that's what happened. Mm-hmm. I have ability. <laughs> <laughs> Find the Jesus. <laughs> and the women get crazy. Okay. So, not, no bother. But then, you became victim of your ability. Okay. You know why? Why? Because you have orgasms like three minutes and you're yeah. done. But then you, they want you working on them like three hours. Yeah. Your finger get numb, your tongue get numb. I'm like, what the fuck? Uh-huh. And they still want it because they they get it. Women orgasm is different. It's non-stop. Mm-hmm. So if you hit the spot, they want you to keep going. Yeah. And I don't want to go fucking. Nobody pay me for three hours. Yeah. So eventually this burned me up and I'm like, fuck it, I don't want to do this anymore. Mm. Interesting. Yeah, that chick was crazy. Eight times. Yeah, and non stop. Like, <laughs> Try suck my dick everywhere. Yeah. I'm like, oh my god, woman! <laughs> <laughs> you don't want to stick like a banana in her mouth? No. Like, uh, oh, fucking, it was crazy. Chick was unbelievable. Nice bike. A lot of money. Not, what nice bike? Yeah, she have sport bike, nice, complete, beautiful body, everything. But after a while, why? Thank mm. you very much. Forget it. Mm-hmm. 
Uh, yeah, that's that's what I was doing. That's what I'm now like. I'm dead. I'm like a, man. So many <laughs> fuck me sideways. I'm like Gene Simmons. If you ain't count how many pussies they have, mm -hmm. honest to God, it was like two thousand. Two thousand. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like since 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 I how I was this first time with thirty three years old check. Remember? <laughs> okay. When you were raped as a child. Yeah, 11 years old. Yeah, First you were time. 11 years old and the chick was 33 year old. Yeah, and she was hot like hell. Rape. And we was like three, ta three days sitting in the studio. And rape. her boyfriend said, how are you guys doing? And we said, we're going to do it good. <laughs> <laughs> Since he go home, shit happened. Woo! And that's what happened with her. She was like Niagara Falls. Mm -hmm. No matter where, oh, I have one like this crazy one. No matter where I touch her, yeah, she fucking flush like the fucking unbelievable. She, she unbelievable. Like, oh. mm -hmm. <laughs> I have to actually put towels on the bed if you want to fuck her because it's gonna be everything gonna be wet. Yeah, ridiculous squirting. Mm -hmm. You didn't want to catch the squirt and drink it. I no, I will always, you have to do, with squirtings, you have to do doggy style. Why? Because What's if, you, the if they're facing that? to you, you have to wear goggles. <laughs> yeah. Because <laughs> gonna, they're going to shoot, like, mm -hmm. unbelievable. They have this orgasm, this crazy orgasm, and they like, and since they, they get this crazy orgasm, they want this orgasm all the time. Mm -hmm. You can't even shit. Yeah. <laughs> what are you doing? I'm like, I just started shit. <laughs> you want a pumpkin? Yeah. Like, she's gonna, yeah. you know. But no, I. that's why I'm saying, no more way. You say, oh, sucking dick. No, if you went through what I said, get through, no. I don't want to fucking, every time you show them you can do this shit, mm -hmm. they say, oh my God, I want this every day. Mm -hmm. The other one won't. I want this every time, at eight times a day, because that's worse. That's I think so for them. That is stress relief. They never feel like this before, and they want this. They can't believe that this happened to her body, and they can't do it by themselves. No matter how they fucking or oh, masturbating, not like they on my dick. Hmm. Thank you. <laughs> And then I stop completely because there's no point. I'm like, fuck. Three minutes, me. Yeah. And then you start doing this stuff to them because you want to, you know, they feel good too. Mm -hmm. You know, won't be selfish. And then they, oh my God, that's so funny. Don't stop. And you're looking on the clock. It was one o'clock. Mm -hmm. Then you say, why are my fucking hands numb? No, okay. I'm looking at six o'clock. And you still keep going. Mm -hmm. She's squirting everywhere. You look like you fucking came from rain. <laughs> yeah, like you, you walked in oh rain. Oh my god! Fucking this thing, how the squirting in your eye is burning. Mm -hmm. There's some kind of salt in her pussy juice. <laughs> <laughs> Honest to god. And smell like a very funky smell, that juice. Mm -hmm. So, yay. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. What's the heaviest? He what? Check. Never have heavies. I can't fuck the potato. No? I have one, actually, what was like overweight a little bit. Okay. And we started fucking. Yeah. And I couldn't do it. Uh-huh. I turned around her and I'm like, uh, I was going to school. Mm -hmm. that and then I said, no, go home. And she was, I was feel bad for her. Because I said, I can't. I'm actually attractive to the women. Oh, nice face? Mm -hmm. Or awesome body? Mm -hmm. Like sport body. I can't fuck fucking potato. Mm -hmm. With no face. Mm. Like, uh, no. No matter how desperate she is. Mm. Not gonna happen. And my important thing is what kind of car she's driving too. <laughs> What does that have to do? Yeah, because you know how women is smart or not. Okay. Because if she driving nice car, mm -hmm. that means she take care selves, and then did she take care needs what she really need like to do and what like to have it. Mm -hmm. My boss know this. Because mm -hmm. uh, long time my friend Shaq, mm -hmm. 
he couldn't believe it because every time he have some girlfriend, I always ask, what kind of car she driving? Mm-hmm. And he said, like, some kind of old Honda. Okay, forget it. So then he started laughing with my boss. Mm-hmm. And he said, Peter is some kind of crazy. Because he said, what kind of car is she driving? And my boss ran away and said, oh, no. If she not drive Mercedes Cadillac, son, he not even going to go out with her. He yeah. know this. I'm, I'm screwing. I don't know why. I'm thinking your car is always your extension, you. So, you, did you see me driving something else? What what I'm driving? You drive a broken Escalade. <laughs> but was no broken before. Yeah? Sure. Yeah. We have Escalade. We have a, a Cadillac, Cadillac, Cadillac. What your first car was? Lincoln Zephyr. Uh, why was Lincoln Zephyr? <laughs> see? Because it had a clock. Exactly. You want something. I want... With Cadillacs, I said one day, I see this stoplight in the trunk, mm-hmm. long one. And I'm like, oh man, I don't care what kind of car is that, but I want this fucking, like this. And that ended up with Katera first, remember? Yeah. With this big long stoplights, and then Cadillacs start. Since we start Cadillacs, you can go back. Mm. It's like, you can black, you know, go back. Yeah. Yeah. But that's like, that's like your wife, life is uh, shape. See, you like new, nice stuff. Mm-hmm. And what make you happy? Keep going. Life is too short, man. Whatever you're in your head, do it. Mm-hmm. So if you like something, grab it. My thing was like, you know, I like Cadillacs. I have Cadillacs. You laughing broken? Couldn't be fixed. <laughs> See, you're laughing now too. Yeah, but I can yeah. fix. But I'm too lazy to fix. Yeah. yeah. But uh, it's... It's p- part is right there. Look. Yeah. <laughs> just put it on. Your part is there too. Yeah. Yeah. Just put it on. But my hand is hurting. Why? I don't know. All this thing. I can lift nothing. I can pull nothing. So I'm waiting. This little bit get better. Then I'm gonna put your piece and I'm gonna put this piece. Yeah, for because, our curse. Yeah, because my elbow too. Mm-hmm. Mm, I don't know what's going on. I'm going very gently on machines. But I most of them going to jacuzzi and I, you know the jet shooting and the, mm-hmm. look how much weight I lose. My biceps disappear completely. Yeah. I think I'm in the same boat with you with the heavy chicks. With like no. Uh, like I don't get excited nothing. No, because it's like fucking she covered. Like I tried like the alpaca chick oh, that yeah. I told you about. Yeah, yeah. It's just I couldn't. No, if you know. With that, I was just like, okay, have... blow me, I go home. Yeah, yeah, I but can't... you have to have something. Like, you have to have something you want her. Like, even f- nice face or something. There was no. I've just been hooking up with, with like, thicker chicks. Because for some reason, I can't get skinny ones for some reason. All these skinny chicks, like, guys who look like a donkey kicked them in the face. Because they either have drugs or they play hockey. That's that's how you get pussy in Canada. It, everyone listening, you want pussy in Canada? Play hockey. Play hockey or offer them drugs. You will get the hottest chicks on the planet if well, you offer them probably, drugs uh, yeah. and, or you play hockey. Yeah, because probably hockey is like, you know, oh, you're going to have a lot of money, blah, blah, blah. Yeah. Because you play And hockey. there's so many... Guys from around here that ended up in NHL and making lots of money on yeah, hockey. Yeah, yeah. So that's what they look for. They look for hockey and they look for drugs. Yeah. But, and then you got the thickies who are like kind of floating around. <laughs> no, because see, even woman, like nice looking body, mm-hmm. you know the woman is disciplined. Mm-hmm. So that's what I say. Nice car. She want a nice car. She go to the gym. Yeah. She know what she want in life. And then she want to hook up with you. Hmm, okay, let's try. Mm-hmm. Then you say have green light. Hello. See, like a Shannon was surprised me. One day she's fat. <clears throat> One day she's look unbelievable. Yeah. One day she's fat. One day she's... I don't understand why you know going with this woman. This woman <clears throat> actually... Never. <clears throat> I know, but uh, everybody from your friend work with this woman except you. Yeah. That, maybe she just waiting for you. Waiting where? <laughs> I don't know. Let me call her. <laughs> <laughs> but then, I've never... I don't think I've ever hooked up nothing with a skinny chick. Ever. 
that's not you know losing that i have like you know nice looking checks little fat checks with nice faces mm-hmm. and then i have really skinny ones uh surprise was with skinny it's the same feeling pussy no matter how big how small how sideways how big feels the same way mm-hmm. but then it's the you know the feeling like i said it's boring yeah then you want something different and then it's like what then you actually like i said you end up working like crazy and it's fucking jesus it's a disaster i'm wasting my time here she have good time i have to work that's what i said i quit the shit but why which <clears throat> who's having what she's having a good time alone. yeah because she have orgasm three hours yeah i have three minutes <laughs> okay but i have to do the work all the time yeah every day sometimes eight times a day mm. so that's a full-time job eight that, hours. that's a dead fish you said to me go to this fish thing what fish thing where they check your car your everything Plenty of fish, whatever. Oh, plenty of fish. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. But every time I want to, I cancel Bumblebee. Okay. Because it was bullshit. Yeah. <clears throat> Almost went with one somewhere. Okay. <laughs> and then press cancel. Yeah. Because I get scared, like, fuck, I have to go. Yeah. Then I have to go again. <laughs> I have to try to do this and say the, oh my god, with my broken guy. Yeah. <laughs> and then, what happened? Oh. I want to sleep. Yeah. I want to do what I want to do. Yeah. And that's his problem. I, I'm i too long now. I want to do what I want to do. Mm-hmm. I love my cars. I can fix them if I'm boring. I, sometimes I say, oh, okay, let's do this shit. Like uh, Chapalapa waiting for this piece. Yeah. I can order, uh-huh. but I'm too lazy fucking even order. Yeah. But I can do it one day if it's too boring. But now I have a puppy. Yeah. Who no let me order nothing. Yeah. Since you have a phone in the hand. Mm-hmm. <laughs> big potato chopping. <laughs> yeah. And biting your hand. Mm-hmm. So that's what I'm saying. I have a puppy, stress release. I we walking twelve times a day, <laughs> shedding five sheds on a day. Yeah, going everywhere, driving everywhere. I'm busy. Hmm. I'm not missing at all. You, another way. You know, you never have this experience. You should try something. Maybe just with to... what? Oh, like a paka even. That. Yeah, nothing just protect cl- yourself. Nothing clicked. Nothing clicked, but... With the other chick. What about nothing... if you put in your head... She looked different. No. Because <laughs> she doesn't. <laughs> that's like me driving... But that's with... like me driving no, no, a no. Honda... No, no, because... And saying, no, no. this is a Cadillac. No, no, because you told me... Yes. That chick was looking nice, actually. In pictures. How she lose 10 pounds, whatever, no, before. No, then I met her, she was 50 pounds. Yeah, but she couldn't w- working out. Yeah, she could, but she decided to get fatter. Yeah, but like maybe she gets stressful because she couldn't have a nice guy. Mm, yeah, and she sure. said, why I'm exercising fucking, I can eat. No, she's that's not the answer. <laughs> I know. I, I know it's National Cheeseburger See, I, Day, but I you know. can't go get the cheeseburger. I know, but like I like I even with me, like I'm exercise. Yeah. And sometimes it's like, what the fuck? I'm too old. No. Yeah, because you, I can't have no more growing. Nothing gonna grow. Just gonna maintain whatever left over. But the recover is fucking uh, ridiculous to compare to like even 20 years ago mm-hmm. no recover no problem everything growing steroid Woo, awesome now oh my god two days later let's say you do the biceps triceps yeah oh my god my arms falling off right now mm-hmm. my back my this then some kind of crippled arm then you have to go swimming now because you're hurting your disc this this after 50, oh, unbelievable. Forget it. Just jump. Mm. Like if you're going to like a parachute jumping, just jump without parachute. <laughs> <laughs> and 
and just end of the story yeah. because then if you want to die and you're gonna be in pain everywhere like your <laughs> like your fucking sack gonna fall off from your asshole <laughs> yeah and you have to pick it up yeah that's ridiculous the... you can see yeah. you can hear <laughs> what the fuck you don't speak your language anymore the beauty of life huh no but that's sad that's life i know but see if you have a nice kids they understand and they're gonna push you to the uh, hill because Sh- they want you to have sure just you always want to go with open shoe go yeah and that's it and know. that's the show yeah but how many things we sh- we didn't cover right, that was one hour yeah but uh, what say what with 60 by 9 you forgot it he gonna snitch go quick no he already testified and what happened i don't know nothing uh, he said basically he supplied them with money for guns and stuff because they gave him a career they they helped him become one of the biggest rappers on the planet and that's why he paid them back in return to these gang members the mm-hmm. train nine uh-huh. gang and yeah, 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 yeah and and then they used that money to buy guns i was thinking by him carry. so that was his thing that he talked about in court basically how he's like because of these people who are bad people but they made me successful in life I paid them back oh. and then they bought guns. So what his story now? That's literally his story. <laughs> no, no, but like what's going on with him? He's still in court. He's not in jail, nothing. He's still No, he's in the snitch house. He he's just With all snitches, he's, he's sitting... literally still sitting at home, can't do fucking nothing. He's not in home. He's yes, in a he jail. Is. No, he's, he's in a snitch in house. He's going to court like a normal human being. He just can't work. Because he's in a court case. That's it. No, I hear he's in a snitch house. No. Where all snitches in jail, they separate them from normal no, they jail because don't. they're gonna kill them. No. Yeah. Look. The show's over. We can't talk anymore. Oh, regardless. okay, okay, so okay. Just... So next time. Yeah. Okay. So now, uh, what we learned today? Quick. We learned about pussy. Sometimes they deep. And sometimes they're horny. <laughs> Too much. Yeah. A run. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. Okay. So to the next time, peace. Yeah, and love, and cheers. Peace. Be nice <laughs> to each other. Bye. <laughs>